Hey what's up people it's your guy here DJ Cliff welcome again to this wonderful channel if you're new please make sure you subscribe down below make sure to laugh and about this channel and everything is just going to be fine as always so today I just want to give you some hints or something you might not know about the virtual DJ24 and actually it's about this what we see here on the stems we have the stem uh, list the vocals you have the he heart you have this i mean the instrumentals so what actually these stems does to your tracks is actually separates uh like you can see here we can see it separates your vocal if you want only a vocal to sound you just tap these vocals and then maybe a cappella for example so the uh, the a cappella is now what actually talk about uh the vocals like for example let me, let me use this song as an example but i'm not, i'm not going to play the vocals because this is a copyrighted content so for uh, those reason i just want to just illustrate something to you so that you, at least you get the point so this is the song this is the song the original song so let me just record this this is an original song so I just want to play it the way it is, the way it came from the artist. So let me play it and then you see it. So the song which I have been playing has not been, uh, there's not, nothing I've done about it. It's just original. Now I want it only, I want now the instrumentals uh, to play. Now I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to play this and then I'm going to mute the kick and the bass and then you get the differences of how this uh, a cappella does to your tracks. Now let me just play it the way it is and then I'm going to separate it by tapping the hee heart, the kicks and the bass. Now just see. You can feel the difference. Now I've only tapped the a cappella. Now it it will only play where uh, the a cappella when the person now starts singing. You can see it only plays. It only sings from where the the voice can be heard from the track. It does not play the bass. Now let me now try to remove the bass and the hear it and then get the difference about what this acapella does, what this stems does. So let me play it the way it's supposed to be. This original one. I'm going to have to separate the kick. I'm going to separate now the the vocal. And I'm going to separate the hear. You can see, now I'm going to only release the a cappella. So I'm going to put another song from the Cash, Cash Madame from the Vanessa MD. And I'm only going to play uh, the, the beats alone just by using these stems and vocals. Remember, this is a cooperated content, so uh, I don't want it to be removed because you will not understand what I'm talking about. So I'm going to play, tap the instrumentals, and I'm going to synchronize these tracks to match the one which is on the right. Then I'm going to play it. So let me just put this way. I'm going to remove the video. Now just listen. So 
So you can just listen. I've uh, I had already uh, separated these tracks. Like you can see, the one which was playing on uh, which one was playing on the right was the a cappella from the Flex, and then the one which was was playing on the left was by Vanessa D. You can see I was only playing the instrumentals from the Cash Madem. And then from I mean from the Vanessa D, and then uh, I was playing the vocals from the a cappella. So th so this the the benefit about the a cappella. You can do a lot of things when you have these on your Vassal DJ. Especially I'm talking about the Vassal DJ 2023 and the Vassal DJ 2024. Now the problem of the Vassal DJ 2024 is this: I really don't liked uh, this kind of uh, you know uh, automation. This uh, we are talking about, you know, interacting with the keyboard. It's now very, in a, it's not the way it used to be on the recent times, like the virtual DJ 2020. It's different. You can see from, uh, where is it? I think it is in the, it is in the interface or where? Controls, yeah, it, it is in the controllers. When you set your keyboard, it only allows you to access this kind of custom mappings when you only press the alt here like you can see this alt on your keyboard and then you press the key now this a very different thing you know for me i usually prefer just tapping for example the sampler one in this place on the go this were now the disadvantage of the virtual digital 2024 but when you do a lot of practices, I think the user interface can be uh, at least interactable and you can be well known, knowing about how to do those uh, maneuvers. So uh, the Virtual Digi 2024 does a lot of things specifically and that's what I've liked. Now, if you're having a problem with uh, your video card because the Virtual Digi 2024 is a bit very heavy, it is a heavy type of application. So just come here on the search and then go write something like performance and then you'll get to see uh the the time codes the automix dual deck like you can see right here you uh, for me i just prefer uh, using the default type of mode in the automix so it's no the performance it's reduced quality so the stems real time separation like you can see right down below always separate every song when loading on demand only suppressed songs that make use of stems will have a small delay with reduced quality when starting. Prepared. Offer to prepare save stems when needed and use reduced quality in the meantime. So fully disabled. Never try to separate stems. Not even reduced quality in modern waveforms will be unavailable. The, 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 this one, it it just matters. Like, like you put, when you put it on... Uh, uh, on demand when you put it on demand it is going to affect your pc performance for example if you're using a very slow type of cpu so you will have a problem when you do this so for me i usually prefer using it in a reduced quality because i'm using intel processor i5 but it's the the, the gpu is not that very strong so it cannot uh process all those graphics at the go so it's going to reduce the performance of my cpu or my computer so i usually prefer using uh the stem saved system usually just leave it to automatic and then on the stem fix if you're using a very old computer you can try using this don't you see a gpu or lower priority it's only just according to the performance so whatever the trick you want to put on just prefer go go for it but if you're using an older uh, computer I prefer you using the lower priority because most of them don't come with the GPU. They come with the integrated GPU, which is not so good. So if you're having discrete GPUs, then it is for your own advantage. But for me, for you, if you're using an older computer, I prefer you using lower priority or prepare with a reduced quality. So lower priority might be best. Then skin uses low GPU. For me, I just prefer using low. I mean, the default one. But if you have, very, if you want a very good uh, interaction with the uh, graphics, I'm, I'm talking about these, uh, these graphics. This is what we call the, 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 the you know, uh, the user interface. If you want good. I mean, uh, interaction with this, always prefer setting it to uh, the highest. So like you can see right here, 
default skin uses slow power gpu for laptop with dual gpu select if the skin and the video should be the internal low power gpu to, pre uh, to preserve battery of the discrete high power gpu the low power gpu is usually enough to draw the skin for the basic video mixing and will always make your battery last longer use the high G the power gpu if you're dealing complicated video mixing with complex efficient shaders you have you've been told just down below here when you go here you can see down below they've told you what it does so if you're not sure or, if, or not understood what i've just told you just go down put your cursor here and read the below information the skin fps because i'm using 60 hertz i usually prefer using the 31 because at least that is the medium one so if you're having a computer which has about 120 hertz and the go you can set maybe 60 hertz or even 120 hertz so long as it has a very strong gpu it's for your own benefit and you're for your own smooth flow when you're mixing in your virtual dj the sample rate i just prefer using the 48,000 because this is the default one so just leave it to that ultra latency just yes and the way this comes it's you can just only toggle up some few settings and the only one which maybe you might have a problem is with the stem fix and the stem gpu this is where you might change a little bit so here you just put automatic and stem release version reduce the reduce quality that's what you can always toggle on your virtual dj 2024 the problem with the virtual dj 2024 i really don't prefer using these types of i mean uh these uh uh you know these terms um i'm talking about this this one the graphical interface i usually prefer the using old one but now because i've not yet uh, loaded my uh, my old one this way i love uh, lots of lots of problems because you can see right here it is hard to interact with these things but with time we'll get to understand when you do a lot of practices in your cross dj application i mean i'm talking about the virtual dj application so guys if you're having any queries about your virtual dj and it's not performing very well please make sure you comment on the comment section and let's meet the next video it is your guy here dj cliff so let's meet to the next video.